Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chicken Possible with Rewards Hunter, back with another Xbox Game Pass monthly quest guide. Today we're going to be working on the quest for FIFA 21. We're going to earn 75 rewards points for this, and we need to score five goals within the game before July 5th. So let's go ahead and get that game loaded up. This does not appear to be available on xCloud, and this does need to be the Xbox One version of this game according to the notes on the Quest. So if you're trying to play it on your Series X, that might be the issue. You might need to switch over and be playing the Xbox One specific version. So once we get it loaded up, we'll just press A to advance through all of the little notices and pop-ups that appear when you first start up the game. This quest will probably take us about five to 10 minutes to complete, and I'm gonna show you the easiest game mode and setup that I found for this. Again, we're just continuing to press A to get through all of these initial dialogues. From the home screen, let's go over to the right to the play tab, and we're gonna go down to the option that says kickoff and press A on that. And I am going to be using a two controller setup for this. So dust off your second controller and get that connected to your Xbox so we can play with two controllers here and make the goal scoring a lot easier. So here we go. So we're going to put our main controller off to the left side and say that we're ready. Put our right controller on the away side and you may need to enter a kickoff name, which you can enter whatever you like. I entered about seven A's there to take place of the name. And then both controllers need to ready up and get started. We're gonna choose house rules and change the match style just a little bit. We're gonna choose the mystery ball, which gives the ball certain power-ups when the person has control of it. So that's gonna help our kicker make a lot more goals more easily. So again, we're just having both controllers ready up and go with the initial uniforms that are set. Doesn't really matter which uniforms they choose. And we're gonna press A to play the match. So the team that I'm playing as is the red team. So watch what the red players are doing. And then the blue team is just my second controller that's just gonna be sitting off to the side, not really doing a lot. And when you get to that little practice section, you can just press the menu button or the start button to get started and then do some button mashing to skip over the initial cutscenes. So we need red to score some goals here. So luckily red is starting with the ball. A is the pass button in this game, and B is the button that you hit to attempt to kick a goal. So we're just kicking towards the blue side, and I hit B. The goalkeeper was able to block the ball there, and you notice I just had him press the Y button. And then I was able to kick the ball in after that. So if the opponent, if the second controller has the ball as the goalkeeper, just press Y and he'll kind of drop it down at his feet and start sort of kicking it out and you can easily steal it from him and kick it in at that moment. All right, so now the second character has the ball. I, had, I pressed A and then B to kick the ball from midfield. So it was easy for my red guys on player one to pick up the ball and start carrying it back down the field. So you can see I've got control of the ball again, and we're moving towards the goal. The second controller's characters will not do a lot to stop you from making the goal, so you should have pretty easy luck with this. If the goalkeeper does stop the ball, then again, just press Y, have him drop it there, and you should be able to steal it from him and kick it in with the B button. So player two has the ball again, so just pressing A and B to do sort of a long kick and then stealing the ball as it comes towards our goal. So we've got back in control of it. So we've got control of it again with player one and we're moving it down the field towards the goal. I actually had one goal already before I started filming today, just for my testing. So you'll see me make four goals during the course of this video. We missed it there and one of the secondary players got it. It's not the goalkeeper. So what you wanna do in that situation is just kinda of kick it away from the goal a little bit, pass it with the second controller, and then have your first controller try to steal the ball from that, that second player. 
So you can run up to him, press A, press B, try to kick it away from him and see if you can get it back into the control of your team and then work it towards the goal again. Press B for that next goal. And we should be getting close. That should be four out of five for me if I'm counting correctly. Second player has control, pressing A, and then I didn't press B there. I went up and tried to steal it from him, which is actually a little trickier. You wouldn't think it would be that tricky, but it, they like to hang on to the ball, even though nobody's controlling it. So there we go. We've stolen the ball, and one of their characters picked it up again, so I'm trying to get it back. It can be a little tricky, even though nobody's actually controlling that controller. It can be tricky to steal it from him. You'd think it would be super easy, but there's a little bit of AI that's happening with these characters, even though nobody's handling the second controller. So once we've finally got control of the ball, moving it back towards the goal again, and I think the goalkeeper stopped it. Yep, he stopped it, so we had to do a couple of corner kicks. But here we go, the goalkeeper has stopped that kick, so we're gonna have the second controller press Y, and then we'll steal it from him. And he got it again, so we'll have him press Y again on the second controller. And hopefully we'll be able to get it this time. He's just standing there with it. Let's press B and get it into the goal. So there we go, that's our fifth goal. Fourth one in the video, but fifth for me total. And after you've got your fifth goal in this match type, you should unlock your quest. So there we go, we'll go ahead and hold down the Xbox button and turn in that quest for those 75 rewards points. We are gonna have guides coming out for Elder Scrolls Online, Outriders, and we've got quite a few weekly and monthly quest guides already available here. We're also gonna have a guide coming out for all of the punch cards that have just appeared in the Microsoft Rewards app. We're gonna be earning over 4,000 points in that guide that's coming out a little bit later today. So if you're interested in earning a ton of points using the Microsoft Rewards app, please stay tuned for that one. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you found that video helpful, please be sure to click the subscribe button here on YouTube and hit that bell for notifications. You can also find some helpful links in the description of this video if you want to stay connected with us. Stay tuned for more Microsoft Rewards and Achievement Guides, and I'll see you in the next one.